Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly grocery haul and meal plan. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I am Taylor, I'm a stay at home wife and mom and I share grocery hauls pretty much every week um, of the things that we got and I share the meal plan with y'all of like the dinners I plan to make, usually like the breakfast and lunch too, although we usually keep it pretty simple. And then I always share what's for dinner videos on Sunday so you guys can come back on Sunday and see what exactly I made for dinner. Um, this week I did my shopping at Target and Aldi. Usually I don't try to go in Target, especially when I have the kids with me, but I didn't realize until this morning that our dog Rex was like nearly out of dog food. So I needed to go in Target to get that. And then of course I got some other things as well since I was there. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the meal plan for the week and then we will get into the hauls. Okay, here's our meal plan for the week. These are my meal plan printables. If you're new here, I have these linked in the description box. They're available for purchase on my Etsy store if you are interested in that. They come in this pink and blue color and also in black and white. So, for breakfast this week, I've been on an avocado toast and egg kick. Sometimes a fried egg, sometimes hard boiled egg, so I'm going to keep going with that. Then the kids don't like that, so they usually do like peanut butter toast or jelly toast some kind of toast with fruit, a rope banana, but we got some other fruit as well. And then a breakfast that we'll have when my husband Andy is off is a breakfast pizza. And then we'll just repeat the easy stuff throughout the week. Then for lunches, today we had Chick-fil-A because I just like to pick something up um, on the way home from the grocery store. And then we'll do like homemade Lunchables. We almost always have leftovers at dinner, so we usually eat that a lot. And then quesadillas is another idea of something we could have. Dinners, tonight we're going to have a grilled cheese and tomato soup, nachos, we've got Instant Pot Cockadoodle Noodles. That is from um, Pressure Luck. That's a new recipe I'll be trying. We're gonna do meatball subs with salad, pork chops with loaded potatoes. I'm probably gonna do this like loaded potato casserole that I saw on TikTok, I haven't decided yet something like that and then green beans and then we're going to do a steak and potato soup with some homemade bread and then crispy baked tilapia with parmesan orzo and a salad and then for snacks we always have trail mix usually cheese string cheese stuff like that but then i'm also going to make some fig and nut bread because i have some dried figs i wanted to use up um the kids didn't really like them by themselves but they like like fig bars and stuff so I figured that they would like this fig and nut bread so I'm gonna make that this week but that is our meal plan okay I'll start over here with the stuff from Target if you want to leave a guess for the totals you can leave that in the comments down below and then at the end I will tell you the total at both stores so as I said we needed dog food for Rex so I got kibbles and bits that's what he eats with no problems although I did have to get the mini bits so they're like smaller pieces um, which honestly might be good for him because he is a small dog um, but it's like the same flavor and everything as the usual kibbles and get bits that I get for him and then I needed a new dustpan so I got this one it comes with a little brush too I have the like mini version of this as well and I like it so I got that then I got this activity dice set from the dollar spot so you like roll them and then it gives you things to do stomp march like an ant and then like how long to do it got new toothpaste lily likes the hello in the unicorn flavor but elijah does not like it so he got this dragon dazzle blue raspberry flavor to try um we'll see how he likes it he's using i think a strawberry toothpaste from schmitz i think that's who it's from i can't remember they they have a hard time finding toothpaste they have to use toothpaste with no sls because if they use sls toothpaste it causes like um little like mouth sores um because they haven't had an issue since switching their toothpaste so if you have an issue with that in your kids or even i guess maybe yourself um try a toothpaste with no sls um it's hard to find i know the hello ones the tom's ones um and then I think that, I think it's Schmitz that Elijah has right now. Those are like the only three brands that I found for kids that don't contain it. Then we got some hair clips. These were definitely an impulse purchase. Little butterfly clips for maybe myself, but um, mostly Lily. And then 
we also just got the colorful ones. I will definitely use some of these. And then needed some bobby pins. I know I can get bobby pins at Dollar Tree, but I just find that the name brand ones hold in my hair better. So I picked some of these up for us. And then mouthwash for the kids. We have one on backup right now, but they're almost out of the one that they're currently using. So I just got another one to keep in backup. And then I got some stuff to clean the bathroom. Scrubbing bubbles, bubbly bleach gel. I honestly absolutely hate cleaning the bathroom. So anything to just make it a little bit easier. So I got that. And then I also got some Lysol, like all-purpose cleaner with like disinfectant in it. And then this Target one smells like a citrus grove. I love this mostly for the way that it smells, but it is not a disinfectant. So that's why I got both of those. And that is everything that I got at Target. Moving on, this is everything that I got at Aldi today. We needed a lot of produce because we were practically out of everything. Got some strawberries because they were on sale this week. Got some apples, some onions, some romaine, like all of that we were out of, some baby carrots, some avocados. It's like, I think 335 for this bag of minis. And there's like five in there, I think, five or six. So I think that's a pretty good price. Um, and then what I do with these, like they're not ripe yet, I leave them on the counter until they, until they start to ripen and then I throw them in the fridge and they stay good for a really long time in the fridge. You just need to let them get ripe first before you put them in the fridge, otherwise they will never <laughs> ripen. So that's what I do with those so that they don't go bad before I have a chance to eat them. And then I got some yellow potatoes for that steak and potato soup, got some bananas, some cucumbers, mini sweet peppers, two different things of tomatoes, and then some pico de gallo for our nachos. Got some bread, just our whole wheat bread that we use for toast. And then this square sourdough loaf will be for our grilled cheese sandwiches tonight. I've been wanting honey buns ever since my friend Ashley shared some a couple weeks back, back, but I hadn't been able to find them, so I got some today. Got two things of marinara sauce. Lily was very disappointed because they didn't have anything except for blueberry cereal bars. And those are the ones that she does not like. Last week, all they had was strawberry. I guess I should have bought more of the strawberry last week. Um, I guess that's what I'm going to have to start doing it. Doing is buying things like that when I see it. Because they didn't have any strawberry this week. They only had blueberry. So Elijah picked blueberry. And then Lily got these little breakfast biscuits in the brown sugar cinnamon flavor in place of a cereal bar. Um, and then when I see them in the right flavors next week, I guess I will just have to stock up. I got some egg noodles. Some more of my favorite trail mix, the cashews, dried cranberries, and dried pineapple with, oh no, this isn't my favorite one. I grabbed the wrong one. I saw the pineapple and thought that this was the right one. Oh well, guess we're trying this one because the one that I usually get does not have macadamia nuts in it. Um, I don't have a bag of it because I dump it into a jar, but um, I guess I'm trying this one this week. I think the other one is the adventure trail mix, and this is the relax trail mix. But I'm sure I'll like it anyway because I like all of that stuff. I got some steak sauce. Two cans of refried beans just to have on hand because they had them. Got some real bacon pieces. Some pepperoni. And then like all the version of shake and bake. We really liked this barbecue one last time I made it. And so I got one of those. And then I had never seen the Parmesan garlic one. So I got that one as well. I got two gallons of milk for the kids, some cold brew for myself, and then the Aldi lactose-free milk. I prefer the Fair Life, but they were out, so I got the Aldi brand. And if I'm going to get the Aldi brand, I'm going to get the whole milk, because I do like the way the whole one tastes better than their 2%. Got a thing of orange juice, and then I got a thing of chai tea. They were out of the dirty chai tea, so I had to just go with regular chai tea today. Um, got some eggs, two things of eggs, 
Andy's Cola. Usually I buy one of these a week, but this is another thing that like some weeks they're just out of. So I went ahead and got two just in case they're out next week. Um, yeah. And then if they have it next week, I'll just pick up one so we can always have some in stock in the house because he goes through right at one a week. We got some French toast sticks. Wasn't on the list, but I figured that would be a quick and easy breakfast for the kids one day. And then they asked for ice cream, which was also not on the list. So they still had Bluebell, and I convinced the kids to try the Millennium Crunch because this stuff is delicious. I was buying the small one before. It is vanilla flavored ice cream with chocolate and caramel chunks, pecans, almonds, and walnuts. And they both agreed that that sounded good. So we got one of those. We got some sour cream, a thing of extra sharp cheddar cheese, a couple things of sliced cheese, Colby Jack, sharp cheddar, and mozzarella, and then some Canadian bacon, some smoked honey turkey breast this week instead of ham, two things of sausage just to throw in the freezer, and some napkins. And that is everything that we picked up at Aldi this week. And that is going to be it for my haul this week. I will have the totals of both stores here on the screen for you guys if you are interested in that. I think I did it pretty good. Even at Target, I know I bought a couple things that I didn't need, but I pretty much stuck to the list and didn't spend too terribly much because Target can get you sometimes. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave me a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.